about to make the Easter bonnet for my little girl. I thought I'd just talk through what I've got on the table here. So I've got the carrot decks and the Easter nests, which were from Poundland, which I did a different um, haul on. If you are, I'll put the link down below. I've um, got glue gun, which is on and getting ready to go. I've got the actual bonnet. I've bought some ribbon from the office here. Some scissors and glue sticks. So what I thought I was going to do is I'm going to jazz this all up and then she can wear them. So I thought I'd do a really quick speed video of that happening. I really like the pink ribbon around the bonnet. However, I wanted to jazz it up a bit and make it a bit bespoke so I got some lovely blue ribbon from the office which I am going to attach all the way around on top of the pink ribbon using the hot glue gum. Before you begin gluing make sure you have enough glue in your glue gum before you begin. When I start gluing I don't glue all the way around in one go, I will just glue intermittently dot by dot and stick. The ribbon down as I go because if you do one long bit of um, glue it just won't work because the glue will dry too quickly and you'll end up making mistakes. A little tip is to glue with the hat sitting upright because it helps the ribbon to sit nicely and in a circular shape. If the ribbon isn't sitting quite flush to the hat at this stage, don't worry because you can go in and fix it later. Just worry about getting it on evenly. That's the first layer of ribbon done. At this point I decided to add the yellow ribbon on top of the thicker blue ribbon just to give it some depth and texture and also to make it more eastery. The process is exactly the same as with the blue ribbon. Just go around and do little dots of glue and stick intermittently and don't go all the way around at once because you will ruin your lovely work. When your ribbon's all stuck down beautifully, I then cut the ribbon off at the end and I tend to cut them at a diagonal. And that's the ribbon all done. Next step is to add all the Easter elements around the beautiful bonnet. Before I commit to gluing the elements onto the bonnet, I make sure I place them first to see where I like them and to make sure that I'm happy with the composition. To make sure that the Easter nests sit well on top of the bonnet and stay on, use a good amount of glue, don't be scared to use a lot. But do be careful because the glue gun at this point will be getting hot and the bonnet has got holes in, so watch your fingers and make sure you don't burn them.
So that's it, I'm really happy with how the nests look. There we go. And the next step is to put the carrots on. Like with the nests, I place them before gluing. And that's it, my little girl's Easter bonnet is all done. It only cost me, I think, three pounds to make and I'm really pleased with it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe. It'd be lovely to have you.